Hey everybody, here is a quick video on how to test for either log-log or semi-log relationships between a set of input and output data. So let's, and this is using Google Sheets. I have another video, should we do it using Desmos, it's a little slicker, but if you like this, shows you the trend line better. So here we go. Um, let me share my screen with you. Let me flip that. Let me share that, and I'm going to make this big, big for myself so I can see all the stuff. Great. Hopefully, you can see my face as well. So, let's say we've got some X and Y data, and I definitely encourage you to put the X column to the left, the Y column to the right. So, grab your data, title it. I've titled it lamely X and Y. So, to test semi log, you're going to want to call them this log of X next to Y. I do recommend, because I've seen some issues before. That you're going to make these columns make new columns and just you can either copy so right you can copy that you want space between your columns because if you have the columns right next to each other for some reason things just go weirdly so it definitely may encourage you to have space between columns and then if i want the log of y i'm just going to say well i'm going to call this the log of y and instead of actually calculating all the logarithms and putting them in you can just say that this is equal to log of y, sorry, not log of y, log of five. And so say five, I'm actually just going to put in the cell, which is cell B2. And then I'm going to press enter. And then you can either, well, so one way you can do this is by autofilling, but I'm not, I'm, let's say I, let's say I didn't do that, I missed it. You can go back, click on your cell, and then drag this down. Boom, there we go. And then I'm also going to want, when I do log, when I do the log log, I'm going to want log of x. Right? And so I want log of y graph versus log of x. So here for log of x, we can do the same sort of thing. Like, okay, that's going to be um, log of a2. And then that's going to be zero. Interesting. They give me the option to pull it down. And if I drag this down, it's going to fill it in. That's log of a3. The next one is log of a4. So it fills in the formula for you, which is kind of great. You have to use the equal sign, which is be careful. This is the same thing as before. It's going to be log of b2. And then if you want, instead of dragging it down, you can hit control enter, or I think it's um, the option enter button on the Mac, and it'll just fill it for you. Awesome. So now if you want to actually get the semi-log graph to see if it's the closer ones being linear, you're going to grab these two fields. You want all the data as well as you want the titles because it's helpful to as well. And then you're going to insert a chart. And it's going to give you the log of y on the y-axis and the x on the x-axis. Now, additionally, you want to do some stuff. So look over here to the right. You will see that there are some options. And I will Admit, I always have to remember where this stuff is. So you're going to go to customize, I think. And then I think the chart style is already correct. We want to scatter plot. We've got our x's versus our y's looking good. And then I'm going to um, go to, I think it's series. I think, yeah. And you want the trend line. The trend line gives you the best fit line, kind of like in stats. And then we can also get the, if we scroll, scroll on further, you can get the R squared value, which tells you how good a fit it is. The closer R squared is to one, the better the fit. And you can also grab the equation by looking at the label. Pretty great. So this one is saying it's got an R squared value of 0 0.963. And it's telling us that log of Y equals 0 0.157 times X plus 0 0.59. So if this was the better fit, we would then use this equation to solve for Y. We would still have to go and write 10 to the log of y equals 10 to the 1, 0.157x plus 0 0.59 and then solve for y, but we would know which equation to use. Or maybe it's this other one. So then we're going to do the log log one by plotting log x versus log y. We do the same thing. We go to insert, we grab a chart. It gives us log x versus log y. Okay, the labeling worked out very nicely there. And then we do the same sort of thing. We um, go to customize, we go to series, we click on trend line, looks pretty dang good. We hit the R squared and we also get the equation. 
So R squared is one. That's about as perfect as it gets. So this is definitely the better fit, meaning to figure out what our relationship is, we're going to look at saying log y equals 0 0.8 times log x. So even though it says x there, we know it's actually log of x plus 0 0.699. And then we're going to, again, write both sides as 10 to the log y equals 10 to the 0 0.x plus 0 0.699. Nine, nine, and then we have to do a little bit of manipulation to get y equal to something. Eventually, if you simplify this a bit, you should end up getting y equal to like, um, I believe it was five times x to the 1.2, or sorry, five times x to the 0 0.8, I believe was the actual um, equation. So you should work that out. So take this equation, log of y equal to 0 0.x plus 0 0.699, and if you solve for y and simplify everything as much as possible, you should get something like, y equal to five times x to the 0 0.8. You might be off by the five a little bit. You might have something like, I don't know, 10 to the 0 0.699, which I believe is close to five, but you should work that on your own. So hopefully this is helpful. And um, yeah, good luck with all the semi-log and log log stuff.